issue there. And so the two of them uh, agreed on this, that this was just a completely phony prosecution, and called for a, a meeting, just passed the word that they would have a meeting over at the Quaker meeting hall. And in a sense, that was the key moment. It was the first time that somebody had stood up and said the emperor does not have any clothes, that this is a fake prosecution. And 50 people showed up, much to our astonishment. And out of that was born the Muslim Solidarity Committee. And I think we identified at the first time that we had maybe three jobs, that we had three tasks that we had to do. The first was to advocate for um, a sentencing, because sentencing phase had not yet happened. And we were very fortunate that we had someone in the community who had already gone through this process. We actually had, astonishingly, another imam in Albany that had been preemptively prosecuted, uh, worth Dean Umar, uh, which no one's ever heard about. Nobody ever heard about the case. In part, uh, and what happened was that he happened to live next door to Joe Lombardo. And one day the FBI 